so you can fly analog quad with this DJI FPV goggles. It allows you to fly analog quad because it has an AV input here, but it doesn't have a built-in analog module bay for your analog receiver. So you need to buy uh, an adapter like this uh, to connect it to your DJI FPV goggles. This is the first version of the adapter. The newer version, the version 3, has a metal case that you can put in there. And it's a better fit for this rather than this flimsy uh, connection with this uh, rectifier. So it's better that you get a better one because you don't want to destroy your very expensive rectifier by having a flimsy connection here. You can also buy another adapter called DG adapter. It's exactly the size of this flex that is produced by British Drone Industry. So it's you you put it basically at the front, and the receiver goes to this side, and then you have wires running to similarly to the power input and heavy input with a split cable for your battery. So this Google has a firmware in there that allows uh, this signal from this receiver to be accepted into the goggles. And DJI updates this firmware quite um, regularly. So this one has been updated to the latest release. So in order to receive the signal, you need to power up the goggles. And then you go into settings and select this AV input. And the screen will automatically go to the AV input and it will receive the signal from your goggles. You can also reduce the field of view by reducing the size of the screen from 100%, 80%, 70%, 60%, and 50%. So by being able to do that, you basically have a goggles that you can change the field of view and not having a field of view fixed like the flag shark goggles. So you just adjust it according to how you like to fly. So the goggles also has this um, built-in DVR that you can record your flight. So when you start to fly or when you want to start recording, just press this button record button and when you want to stop recording just press it again so the DVR recording from this DJI FPV goggles is actually very good it's much better than the fake sharp DVR recorder recordings so the video that you can see which is running or running after this is recorded from these uh, goggles and it is exactly what I can see in the goggles. So if you compare that to the um, recording from the FlexShark HDR that I used to record the other flights, the recording is definitely much better than the FlexShark HDR recording. And the image that I can see in the FlexShark HDR is worse uh, than the uh, these goggles so this is much much better so I prefer to use these goggles to fly analog rather than the HDO because all the colors all the brightness sharpness they're all much better than the fake sharp HDO the fake sharp HDO video quality has some kind of a fuzzy uh, coating over the image when it's live, whereas this one you don't have that. In terms of lag, um, I mean the video lag, I couldn't see much of video lagging. It's very similar to when I fly using the Fact Shark HDR. This latest firmware is also pretty good. I think it probably helps to reduce the lag. So in summary, using this DJI FPV goggles 
to fly analog quad is much much better and it's much better than Red Shark HDR2. So I'm super impressed with that. So if you're in the market to buy uh, an FPV goggles, um, I suggest that you don't buy the Red Shark or the other branded analog goggles. Just go for this uh, DJI FPV goggles because you have the best of both worlds. Um, you have this analog and you also have the digital if you want to go digital. You see a lot of video saying that once you fly digital, you want you don't want to go back to flying analog. Um, that is true in one sense and it's not true on the other hand. The reason being that there's a lot of analog quad up out there that cannot take or uh, be installed with a digital system. So for example, the uh, UZ65 quad and the video recording that you see is from this quad that I use in my backyard and my backyard is not very big. I, and I was super impressed with uh, how small this is and I can fly around my backyard and put in some practice uh, for my acro flying. In terms of picture quality, because I was using this Immersion RC Rapifier, the picture quality is actually quite good. So you still can fly this analog quad very easily with this goggles. And I don't think this type of uh, quad will go away because you will still want to fly sometimes a smaller quad in your backyard and you know, up to uh, probably uh, the whoop size because after the whoop size with two inch and above quad you can have this uh, digital system installed on those quad uh, because of this uh, Cadiz Vista and also this uh, DJI original air unit so if you if you are just starting out, I suggest that um, you get these goggles um, if you have the funds to get it, because this will last you for a long time. And then buy something like this quad to practice, and also maybe the uh, Radio Master T16 TX16S radio controller, and also you get yourself an FPV flight simulator on your computer and you practice using this your radio controller and then once once you get good in that then you can fly this quad um, as a further practice and once you get good in that you can then transition on to your digital quad because dig digital quad is expensive at the moment you don't want to destroy your expensive quad like this one because you're going to crash a lot if you are a beginner. So, hope you guys like and enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Just remember, quadcopter is not rocket science. See you next time.